Hi. Hey everyone, it's Donna at WoodEmbroidery.com. Welcome to this week's machine embroidery demo. First up, I have the latest Kimberbell Buddies. I have the adorable witch pillows. So, you know, I always say that I love showing you multiples of one design because it shows you how different each one can be. So, these two are very similar. They have the buttons in the cauldron. They've got the glitter flex in the cauldron. Even the fabric um, in the legs is identical. The black polka dot glitter flex in her shoes with some orange um, on the back. The adorable organza for her cute skirt. Um, but look how she, um, on the quilting here, she sewed that edge shut and she left it open. So you can see the difference that creates. Um, of course, on the little witchy potion bubbles, they both used uh, some glitter flex on that. Um, super, super cute. On this one, oh goodness. On this one, um, she used a oh, completely different um, fabric. Some uh, bats and pumpkins and stuff. Um, she did use the uh, polka dot or the glitter flex in the potion bubbles and the glitter flex in the shoes. But again, you know, I always say it, even the background fabric's different. I love showing you different ones because it just brings out how many possibilities there are. So this one is Welcome My Pretties. Um, and again, you've got the different uh, fabric in the background, different thread choices. They both did do the uh, uh, black polka dot glitter flex and the organza on the hat. But she finished it out with pom-poms, and this one is just a plain finish, but super, super cute uh, finishes uh, for these um, bench buddies, the witch bench buddies. Now, in the bench buddies, there is a fall uh, set, um, a Thanksgiving set, a Halloween set, and a Christmas set. So I'll be showing you the Christmas one uh, coming up in um, just a couple weeks uh, for... The, the two cute, cute um, Hall or, uh, Christmas uh, bench buddies. Okay, so next is this uh, design pack. It is called um, Halloween Ghosts. Oh my gosh, you guys, this has got to be one of my favorite packs. It's got, um, it's got 48 designs in it, 48 designs. So there are a bunch of faces, a bunch of Halloween ghost faces. Um, you can see here like this little mustache man, this boogo, the pirate, look how cute the pirate is. Each one of those comes in a different size. You've got two sizes, you've got a small and a large. And then there are the hands. So like, this one's got, you know, holding a pumpkin. This one's got a sign that says boo. This one, what's he doing? Oh, he's got a, he's got a, what is that thing called? A silk? a sylph or something, and then some hands. You can see the cute little ghosts I have here. Oh, let me bring them over here real quick. Let's see, move that shirt out of the way. So this one, a cute little ghost says, Happy Halloween. This one, look how cute, it's a princess. It's a princess ghost. That, I, and then she's got some hands holding a, a, a wand. Um, so on these, we just simply um, stitched them out on some white uh, fabric. We left the edges raw uh, because we like the way it looked. Simply put a styrofoam ball in the uh, top and then ha had an eye hook, um, screwed it right into the styrofoam ball and then I just simply have some uh, thread. And you could just hang these everywhere in your home and have all this family of little ghosts um, hanging around. Now you could also embroider them on some cheesecloth and, you know, uh, get some, oh goodness, get some uh, glue and drape them over like balloons and stuff for, for a cute little table decoration. But I, I love these Halloween ghosts. They turned out amazing. So I have a design or a thread set, so how many were six full thread set for them? We've got charcoal, chrome, pink kiss, fiery sunset, candy apple, and dandelion. So uh, the perfect Halloween colors with the blacks and everything, but then they accent with the, with the fun, fun um, oranges and yellows and stuff. So that is the Halloween ghost. 
Okay, next up is Kimberbell's Lace Studio. Oh my gosh, you guys, I love this. It is just amazingly elegant. Look at the cute witch hat. So now in here, there are, um, here, let me open it and I, oh, I will show you. There are several different elements, um, different portraits. There's a watermelon, witch's hat, a um, watering can, a Christmas tree, and a heart. And then there are over 50 little elements that you can add to those portraits. Um, for the witch's hat, we've got pumpkins, candy corn, stars. Um, I don't know if you can see the spider here, and there's a spider down here. Again, some more stars. I love the spider hanging off the top of the hat. But you add those um, as um, an accent over the top of the um, hat. Look at this pumpkin. Look how cute the pumpkin turned out. She simply stitched it on some, you know, black and white polka dot fabric. And you've got all the different elements in the portrait here, you know, leaves and acorns, um, you know, swirly bobs and stuff. But how beautiful did that turn out? Freestanding lace is just so elegant to me. And you can use it, obviously, in um, so many different unique ways, whether you're uh, embellishing a shirt or you just want something that's freestanding and putting it on a bag. You can see here they had lots of options along with table runners. Um, of course, framing them is always so perfect. Uh, pillows, all kinds of different um, options um, to uh, stitch out the Kimberbell's Lace Studio. Okay, so finally is this really cute pack. It is called Fantastic Dragons. So in the pack there are uh, in the pack, there are 20 designs of uh, different uh, dragons. Now there are two sizes in each design, um, but I love I love how um, unique they are. They're very very unique. Um, this one here, she stitched it all in metallic. She's like, when I saw it, I thought, oh that's really pretty, and then she was like, I wonder if I can do it all in metallic. So it was like a challenge for herself to see if she could do the whole thing in metallic. And it turned out amazing. I just, I love the way it turned out. So beautiful. She said it, it took a long time because she had to, you know, do her machine on the lowest speed uh, so to avoid breaks and everything. But look how cute these dragons just turned out. So I've got one here. Let's see, let me pull it down. On a shirt uh, for a little boy. Um, you know, a little boy and men are so hard to buy for sometimes, you know, because a girl, a girl would be over the moon with a pillow, you know? So these fantastic dragons are perfect. So you've got it on this cute little shirt here. And then of course she frames some, but then check out this backpack. It's just a simple basic backpack and she stitched out one of the dragons on it. You can even stitch out their name on the backpack. Um, but, oh gosh, what little boy wouldn't love uh, to have a backpack with a dragon on it? Absolutely amazing. Okay, so I paired this with some Hemingway thread as well. We've got Georgia Peach, Old Penny, Winter Rose, Salmon, Peacock Green, and Royal Purple. Um, so some fun, fun, unique uh, colors uh, to stitch out these fantastic dragons. <laughs> Okay, well that is it for this week's machine embroidery demo. Head on over to our, my machine embroidery blog on embroidery.com. I will have um, uh, close-up pictures of all the projects I've shown you here today, as well as links to their design packs and thread sets. Make sure you turn your notifications on because that's how you'll know a new video is up. And as always, I love your comments and suggestions, so leave them for me below. Thanks for tuning in everyone, happy stitching, and we'll see you next time. Bye!